Minneapolis Shelley LaFont was laid to rest today. Now his mom told News 9 that she's eager for answers, but tonight was not about that. She said tonight was all about honoring his life with his favorite sport, which was car racing. The roar of engines followed by a moment of silence. Corey LaFont's telltale blue Mini Cooper, part of a parade of race cars that paused Friday night to honor him, his mom behind the wheel. It's very overwhelming to see what everybody here has has done for him, the track owners, uh, all the race car drivers and their families and their crews. LaFon's Friday nights were spent here at the Twin State Speedway, the first Friday since he's been gone. This is where his heart is right here. It hurts, but it, that's what he'd want. He loved that car. Family and friends were decked out in the number 24, LaFont's favorite. This tight-knit racing community still in shock. On the same day he was laid to rest, the Attorney General's office released the identity of the officer who shot LaFont three times following some sort of altercation. As part of protocol, Corporal Ian Kibbe has been taken out of line duty while the AG's office investigates. The two and a half year veteran of the Claremont Police Department was the only officer on the scene when the shots were fired. While loved ones hope for more answers soon, Friday night was all about the way LaFont lived. It's a wonderful tribute to Cody and how much he meant to everyone here. This was his home every Friday night. And now there are no police body cams or car dash cameras that would have recorded that shooting here at the Claremont Police Department. So there's no video of that shooting at all. But in the meantime, LaFont's mom says she is eager to get those answers. Live in Claremont tonight, I'm Sharice LeClaire, WMUR News 9.